Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about includes in Jekyll. Now, what includes allow you to do is to take certain components of your website, like maybe a header or a footer or a navigation list and abstract them out into their own HTML files. So I could have a HTML file that defines all of the code for the header of my website, right? I could have another HTML file that defines all of the code for the footer of my website. And then I could include all of that code inside of the layouts on my Jekyll site. So in order to create includes, we're gonna have to create a new folder here at the root directory of our site. And I'm just gonna make a new folder and I'll call it underscore includes, just like that. Now inside of this includes folder, we can start creating our includes. The first include I'm gonna create is a header. So I'm gonna define a header for my website and all of the code for that header is gonna get included inside of this file. So I'll make the new file, we'll just call this header.html. And now inside of this header file, we can write the header of our site. So I'm gonna make a header one, and then we'll just make like a horizontal rule or, or whatever. And then over here, inside of this header one, I'm just gonna access the title of my website. So this is a variable site.title, and we'll just access that, and that way, um, this site.title variable is stored inside this config.yaml file. And so I'll just access whatever the current title of our site is inside of my header. And then I'll just do this horizontal rule. So this is gonna be a very, very basic header for our website. Now let's say that I wanted to include the code for this header inside one of my templates or one, or one of my layouts, right? So over here I have this wrapper.html and this is the highest level layout on my site. So this is the layout that all of the files on my website are gonna use. So this is probably a good place for me to include my header. And the way that we include a header is by making an open and close curly bracket, two percent signs, and then inside of these percent signs, you just wanna type include, and then you wanna type out the name of the file that we wanna include. So in my case, it's just H-E-A-D-E-R, header.html, just like that. And so now when I refresh this page, you'll notice that the header of my website shows up up here, right? So we have the title of the website, which is just your awesome title. And then we have this horizontal rule. And then obviously we have all of the information in this post layout. So actually I can make this an H2, it might look a little bit better. So yeah, so we have this header and then over here we have like all the stuff for the post. So what I was able to do was take all of the code for this header, store it in its own HTML file and then include it into this layout. And you can include this header as many times as you want. You can really put it anywhere inside of these layouts that you want. Another thing that we can do with these includes is pass them information. So imagine I wanted to pass this header.html include some information. I can define a variable. So in our case, why don't we define something called color? And when I define color, I'm just gonna set it equal to blue. And now when we go inside of our include, I can access the variable that I just passed in. So I'm gonna use that to style this HTML element. So I'm just gonna say style color and here we're gonna access that variable. So I can say include.color, and this will give me the value for color that we passed in to our header file. And so you'll see now that this title is colored blue because we passed blue into our header. And so that's kind of cool. So you can pass these includes different information. So I could have one layout pass this header green and have another one pass it blue, and depending on which layout is getting displayed, the header will be a different color. So that's basically how we can use includes to abstract some of the common components on our website into their own files. This header, for example, is a perfect candidate for an include because the header is used on all the pages of our website. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.